Great teams, great organizations, and great relationships all have one thing in common, trust. Trust is the essence that leads to innovation, leads to creativity, leads to great synergy, ultimately just leads to winning. But the problem is trust gaps. And a trust gap is created when I experience something different than what I expected. For example, you said you'd be here at eight o'clock, it's 10 o'clock and you're not here. That's a trust gap. You said over the weekend you were gonna get the project done. Well, it's Monday and the project's not done. When we create trust gaps, it works against the synergy, it works against execution, it works against great teams and great organizations. And the other thing that makes this really complicated is this technical term called the personal distribution error. And a personal distribution error, to simply explain it, is that when you create a trust gap, I think it's personality. In other words, when you don't show up at eight o'clock, I'm like, well, you're lazy, or you're not committed, or you're not vested in this. It's, it's more of a personality. But if I don't show up at eight o'clock, it's more envi environmental. In other words, it's, it's because my kids were sick. It's because my husband was at the hospital. It's because something explainable came up. And when there's personal distribution error, and trust gaps all wrapped in, that's the thing that hurts organizations, it hurts teams, and it hurts relationships. So what do we do? Well, that's why the five trust commitments are so important. And these commitments are something we do here at North Point. It's part of our organization. It's part of our staff training. It's part of our volunteer orientation. And here's the five trust commitments. Number one, when there's a gap between what I expected and what I experienced, I will believe the best. In other words, I'm just gonna believe there's a good explanation as to why you're late, or there's a good explanation as to why the project's not done. And guess what, nine times out of 10, you're right, there is a good explanation. And the one out of 10 times that you know there's not a good explanation, then we're simply gonna have a conversation, a trust conversation. The second trust commitment is when other people assume the worst about you, I will come to your defense. In other words, if I'm in a crowd or with some colleagues or with some team members and they're talking about your leadership or they're talking about something you did or did not do, hey, I'm just gonna direct them to go directly to you. That's trustworthiness. The third trust commitment is if what I experience begins to erode my trust, I will come directly to you about it. Hey, listen, if there's something I'm seeing on the other side of you that's hurting our trust, that's creating even the smallest gaps of trust, I'm gonna come directly to you about it, no one else, just to you. That infuses trust. The fourth trust commitment is when I'm convinced I will not be able to deliver on what I promised, I will inform you ahead of time. Hey, you know what? I told you I'd get it done this weekend, but some things came up and they were an emergency and I'm not gonna get it done. Before you hear from anybody else, you're gonna hear from me on Sunday before I see you at work on Monday of I'm not able to deliver on what I promised. That is so helpful. And last of all, the fifth trust commitment is when you confront me about the gaps I've created, I'm simply gonna tell you the truth. Because if I don't tell you the truth, that hurts our trust, which hurts our relationship, which hurts our team, or hurts our organization. So we have posted these five commitments on our website. So make sure go there, download these five commitments, and put them somewhere memorable. And begin to go first, because listen, leaders go first. And when you go first in your organization, in that relationship, on that team, whatever it may be, it's the very thing that leads to what we all want. It leads to great organizations, great teams, and great relationships.